Welcome back guys. Today we got something in for the wagon and uh, take a look, see what it is. Got a nice new shiny dual port blow off valve. Got it from Tubor Smart. Today we're going to be doing a short little install video on this and since I have had nothing but problems trying to find sound clips of these, trying to figure out which one to get, um, I'm going to do a sound clip for you guys because it seems like nobody does that or when they do it they just put music over it and then you can't even hear it anyways. So I probably won't do a before clip just because you can't hear it anyways but I'll be able to do an after clip and show you guys what it sounds like. So it's a pretty easy install. You just gotta take these two bolts off, take this hose off, take this hose off, and the thing comes off, and you just replace it with the new one. Thirteen. Somebody put the wrong fucking bolts in it. Yeah, I wonder who did that. Not me. Bullshit. Get my fucking tools back then, bitch. 713. I'm going my tools. Fuck off. I'm right here, I'm gonna put my fucking tools back where they go. It's not my fault all my tools are somewhere else. Yes it is. Rip gasket. There's number one. Oh. Bolt number one drop. Now normally if you did a full atmosphere blow off valve, you would put a plug in this hose or block it off at the turbo inlet over here. But since I'm doing a 50-50 style, which is kind of safer and more OEM plus, basically I just adapt this elbow over to the new one and you're good to go. It vents half of it to atmosphere and half of it back into the engine. So basically we're just going to take this elbow off this one and put it on this one real quick. Just like that. The only thing that's odd is I have this other blow off valve, recirc valve. So the tuner said this one may be bad, and that's why he told me to get a new one. The one thing I noticed is this one's really easy to open and shut, and this one is really hard to get open and shut. And it looks like it's got a bunch of oil and crap in there. So, I wonder if it is in fact bad. And it looks like somebody siliconed the damn gasket on there. Don't do that. Put this ugly elbow on this nice valve.
There you go, it's ready to go back on. After you get the gasket. And the bolts you dropped. It's the exact reason why I got the GoPro. People blowing up my phone. It would have killed the camera footage. Mr. Popular over here. It can wait. That's that. The only other thing which I really like about this kit is we get rid of this line. It gives us a nice hose to get rid of this and delete it because it looks stupid up there. So we're going to do that real quick. All right, now that we got that quick install done, we went ahead and we deleted that stupid ass chrome pipe there and we just got a nice hose running underneath. Got this sexy ass thing on there. Let's get some sound clips and do some rips. Sounds like on the highway. So as you can see, we had a few issues. Since then, we fixed them. One being that the gasket or O-ring or something was leaking. I basically re-lubed it, put some sticky shit on the gasket, and since then, it's gotten better. One other problem we had that was starting to misfire was this clamp here was rubbing on these wires to the throttle position sensor, and it was freaking out, and it died and wouldn't start, wouldn't start, and I couldn't figure it out and finally noticed that on the side of the road. And then the other thing is we need tougher springs in this blow off valve. I just got one that my friend had had because like I told you I couldn't find any videos of what they sounded, what they were like, so I just got this one. But this one's too stock basically. So the spring is too soft and I've got boost leaking past it and that's that little bit of a squealing noise you'll hear. And so basically when I'm pushing hard boost it is just pushing the boost out the valve and not holding boost so it, it rips a little bit but not as good as it did with the factory one so basically I'm gonna to go to turbo smart like hey I need some tougher springs find a little graph I'll throw it up here uh, basically I have the pink one and I'm thinking I might need like a purplish one I'm not sure yet I'm gonna buy a set and try them out but uh, let's give her some real rips and show, her what, show you guys what she sounds like
that's what I need because I'm pushing boost and it's leaking past it. So it will sound different if you soften it up, which I would say is a better idea. Kind of put it in the middle if you got a mostly stock car. Um, but on my car, I got it all the way hard. cool out here doing rips and here comes the plane he's crop spraying I believe but that's pretty cool alrighty guys I hope you liked the video I got the best clips that I could it's kind of hard to do the flybys but the rev ups and stuff like that I hope you liked it um, as always please like subscribe happy father's day to all the fathers out there beings it's father's day when this video is coming out and uh don't forget to always give her hell <laughs>
Pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil. 